Good afternoon. My name is Doris Perez. I'm going to share a bibliographic review on the factor associated with overweight and obesity, cognitive impairment, IQ, school performance and disability. The others of this work are Soledad Males, Degree in Education Sciences, Mention in Education, Psychology and Orientation, Master in Treatment of Learning Disabilities. Edison Reynoso, Doctor in Psychorehabilitation and Special Education, Magister in Sciences of Sexology, Co-author Temporal Love, Epilepsy and Declarative Memory a neuropsychological evaluation. Doris Perez, clinical psychologist, magister in neuropsychology and cognitive rehabilitation, author of the book, Temporal Love, Epilepsy and Declarative Memory, neuropsychological evaluation. We are professor of psychology career at Indo-America University from Quito, Ecuador. As you can see in this image, obesity worldwide has almost tripled since 1975. The reason is the increase in body mass index is a result of an energy imbalance between calories consumed and calories expended. In recent decades, an increase in the consumption of high calorie foods reaching fat and a decrease in physical activity due to sedentary lifestyle has led to this eating disorder being considered an epidemic worldwide. A statical day from the World Health Organization, April 1212. Background on obesity and overweight. In 1216, more than 1 9 billion adults, 18 years and older, were overweight. Of these, over 650 million were obese. Over 240 million children and adolescents aged 519 were overweight or obese in 1216. 38 million children under the age of 5 were overweight or obese in 1219. Yeah. In Ecuador, the weight aging has been evident. The Minister of Public Health presents figures in relation to this increase. In 2018, report that 3 out of 10 children between 5 and 11 years old are overweight or obese. One in four adolescents between 12 and 19 years old are overweight or obese. And six out of 10 adults between 12 and 59 years old are overweight or obesity. Yep. Obesity is considered an abnormal condition of excessive accumulation of fat in adipose tissue, which predisposes to the development of cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer, and other medical conditions. Which cause in the subject with this condition various alterations at the cognitive level affecting their school performance, including becoming a disability. WHO 2018, abnormal condition of excessive accumulation of fat in adipose tissue. Cognitive impairment. Mayo Clinic, 1999. Transitional state between normal aging and dementias is within a pathological deterioration not attributable and or explained by age. 
IQ School Performance. Final part of the teaching learning process. It is the result which showed the good or bad direction of the different elements that make education possible at school. Padilla 12.10 It is part of the human condition, being a concept that involves and that results from the interaction of people with disabilities. Various investigations carried out in several countries reveal how excessive weight aging is affecting cognitive functioning in various age groups. The findings show affectation in children of 2 and 3 years with a reduction of verbal, social and motor skills that are greater in relation to girls of the same age. In young adults, memory is diminished in its different processes and executive functioning, which include the capacity for inhibition, mental flexibility, and important decision making for the personal and social development of the individual. Results corroborate the finding that other research made the cognitive performance significantly decreased and certain skills even more affected such as perceptual speed, working memory, information processing, short-term memory that affect the way in learning at what time over time. The study by Marquez y Turia carried out in Spain in adults between 12 and 40 years old shows how the orbitofrontal cortex decreases its thickness, the diencephalon and brain stem suffer decrease in volume generating structural changes that affect cognitive functioning and therefore integral development of individuals with excessive weight aging. In Latin American studies carried out with school children aged 6 to 11 years conclude that there is not a statical significant relationship between nutritional states and academic performance. Another investigation showed that in children aged 6 to 12 years there is a highly significant relationship between the nutritional states and IQ of the children evaluated. Finally, in Mexico, the study which adolescent age 12 and 15 years found that 44% of the individuals studied were overweight and obese the figures being very similar between both sexes. The results suggest that obesity is a risk for factor for lower academic performance in adolescents between the age of 12 and 15, but not among adolescents of the same age. In Ecuador, the research carried out in urban and rural schools it concludes that obesity prevails in the urban sector and weight stator and IQ lower in the rural sector. Obesity decreases motor capacity cause functional and sensory limitation that affect the autonomy of the subjects making it in most cases depend on another person that limited and can cause a greater tendency towards morbid obesity. Obesity results in a gradual deterioration of physical and mental health conditions, with the consequence increase in chronic health problems, leading to a functional limitation and gradual loss of autonomy, such as the restriction of 
physical or mental abilities to perform the tasks required to maintain an independent life. Excess weight carries a significant burden of associated disability, as well as consumption of social health research. Obesity results in a gradual deterioration of physical and mental health conditions, with the consequence increase in chronic health problems, leading to a functional limitation and gradual loss of autonomy, such as the restriction of physical or mental abilities to perform the tasks required to maintain an independent life. Excess weight carries a significant burden of associate disability as well as consumption of social health resources. Conclusions It's evident that in Ecuador there is a scarce amount of research of the population with obesity and overweight relates to the factor pre previously analyzed. Excessive weight aging in the Ecuadorian population has become a public health problem due to disease, organic and cognitive alteration that the individual suffers with economic and social implications. The development of cognitive impairment is evidenced by the increase in body mass that cause adverse change in performance and the effectiveness of cognitive functions. Age and abnormal weight aging are key when expressing basic skills such as language, motor control and socialization, considering that at a younger age the risk of a deficit is greater and in the future is alteration with include other cognitive functions, science, the nervous system is in the process of maturing. Adults are at higher risk of developing dementia at a younger age. Studies on the relationship between overweight, IQ and school performance present diverse results which is why there is a need to generate more studies not only in children and adolescents. It is also important to generate feasible proposals for both prevention and care aimed at improving the living condition of the population, both those affected by this diagnosis and there are not. Job performance decreases, generating a gap in productivity, which is why it is necessary to work on inclusion science that are not enough public health policies to effectively reduce overweight rates. These are bibliography references. Thank you for your attention.